Hey there, internet friend. How are you? This is Magic Brad on the Magic Brad Show. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. So what the heck? Is, I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday, good news day. It is September 15th, Tuesday. I got that right. And um, today I'm going to be talking about the magic marketing tool. And that magic marketing tool that I'm talking about at this specific time is Kartra. Now, I was supposed to have a guest on, and he might still show up, but he's over way over there in New Zealand, and he knows a lot more about Kartra than I do because he's been involved with it for since the inception of Kartra. And for those of you that don't know what Kartra is, it's basically an all-in-one toolbox for running a business. So you can create landing pages and opt-in pages and membership websites and and websites in general, and payment processing capabilities with Stripe, and what are some of the other, authorized.net, and Facebook, or PayPal, not Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> PayPal. And what else does it do? Uh, you can create different products in it, and like I said, payment processors that integrate with, like the form has to integrate. And here, here comes our friend. He made it. <laughs> so hang on a second, let me introduce our, uh, the real Kartra expert, I know enough to be dangerous, but I've been using it for a few, few, few months now. But I'm going to bring on um, our friend Mike, and here he is all the way from New Zealand. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? I'm good, Brad. How are you doing, mate? Doing good. Did you have some uh, difficulties flying over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The old... Uh... A few hundred milliseconds of uh, fiber optic cable took a little while to get there. That's what happens these days, you know. I had some. How are you doing anyway? I'm still. It's, uh, it's morning here, so I woke up probably about you know, an hour and a half ago. So still, I'm a bit of a slow waker upper. Um, <laughs> That's right. Over here, it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, nice. How are you doing anyway, Brad? You good? Doing good, absolutely. We are live. We're going live on YouTube today instead of Facebook. I thought I'd do something different. And uh, I got my uh, YouTube channel up there. I got uh, 1,000 subscribers now. So yay for me. Let's have a drum roll. Ta -da. <laughs> That's good. Yes, sir. It feels good to have some uh, engagement, if you will. So I just uh, got mom. a. a, a First 1,000. That's a big milestone. Well, I've been working at it. I've been uh, posting stuff out there and kind of begging people to subscribe. You know how that kind of goes. And you got to get up to that that level. You know, they don't uh, allow you to be seen unless you're somebody. So now I'm almost somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that I got an announcement in my email today from Kartra about an upgrade they did with uh, the way that they process PayPal. Because... Uh, you know how it used to be is people would do the payment processing. And if you're going to PayPal, sometimes you wouldn't get, you get that cart abandonment situation because maybe they forgot their PayPal password, or maybe they realized they didn't have enough funds to make a purchase of something. So they've done yeah. something to it so that it, it takes you back to the familiar uh, payment page instead of taking you off to nowhere, no man's land. Uh, from I had, a, I had, I literally was checking through my emails that came through while I was asleep last night before I jumped on here, and I briefly read it uh, and saw that it looks like they've essentially created a pop-up window that stays within Kartra. So instead of redirecting to uh, PayPal itself, pop-up window pops up, you complete the payment in the pop-up window, but stay on the Kartra page. Exactly. And I kind of like that because I've had situations personally myself where I go to something and all of a sudden PayPal comes up and I forgot the password for some reason. And you got to go away. You need to start using something called LastPass. I have a LastPass account from about three years ago and I lost the password to LastPass. So I'm just. <laughs> That's that's the only way LastPass doesn't work. <laughs> you get like if, you, if you forget if you forget the one password to rule them all, then LastPass doesn't work for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I need another password protector. Uh, you should be able to do like a forgotten password thing or something, unless you've forgotten the email you signed up with. I could probably dig it up somehow and try and figure it out. It's yeah, man, I'll be uh, honestly working online. Once you start working online and you start getting into all these tools and software, you need some form of password vault because uh, if you don't, you are very susceptible to scammers and being hacked. Uh, and uh, also, you know, the manual process of, I guess, creating a spreadsheet and saving them somewhere local on your drive is it's pretty taxing. But, you know, the good thing that I love about LastPass is I remember one password to get me into my vault, and then every single software I've got, I just hit auto-generate a password, and it does one of these XYZ explanation mark type passwords, uh, and I don't have to remember it. I click one button when I go onto a website, it fills it in for me. That's awesome. Yep, I'll probably have to rekindle that because I'm starting to get overloaded with, uh, you know, being an affiliate marketer and things. I'm starting to get a lot of passwords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, do, I can't. I, it's one of the, the best tools I think I use online because it just makes life so easy. So I got our little magic marketing tool domain name there and uh, for those that don't know that redirects to uh, the ability to try out Kartra if anyone is interested and uh, Michael here is much more savvy with Kartra than I am and I'm just kind of wondering uh, what area do we maybe want to talk about in the Kartra the Kartra verse as they call it mate I'm uh, I'm completely open uh, I guess we should probably look at who we're who we want to design our chat for so you know what type of user uh, are we addressing uh, and then uh, we could probably start from uh, some very basic ways to use Kartra for them because well, my I, I always take the assumption is that assume that whoever you're talking to knows nothing Mm -hmm. uh, and then take them from a place of there of of that point forward. Well, that's pretty much who we're talking to is people that are trying to make a decision. Do I go with something like Entreport or Infusionsoft or ClickFunnels or Lead Pages or Kartra? Because there's so many choices these days, and I see a lot of uh, I would say kind of like knockoffy kind of. Uh, I don't know how secure they are or how good they work, but uh, people just kind of kind of try and recreate these good ideas. And I don't know if they're, you know, they, they do it cheaper. I can't, I don't, I can't really think of any of, I don't even want to mention some of the names, you know, you don't want to diss anybody, but I like Kartra. You've used it for a long time. It's still here. I think longevity speaks a lot for itself. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing, I guess, the thing I like about Kartra is uh, I was previously working, I guess, so what happened when as, as the incidents evolved and as software as a service evolves, you know, you had all these bespoke pieces of software for bespoke tasks. So you have an email software for sending emails, you have a software for building landing pages, you have a software for online scheduling. You have a software uh, to create forms, etc., online and, and uh, receive information and answers and quizzes and things like that. And so when I was first starting to work online, I would get all these pieces of software uh, and then you have to then get them to talk to each other somehow. So the individual software is run by individual companies. And somehow you have to get them all communicating with each other because the last thing you want to do is manually go, okay, this person's filled out a form on my form creating software. Now I want to send them an email and I don't want to have to go in and log into the email software to send that to them. I want them as soon as that form's filled in to send the email without me having to do anything. So then you're connecting them up with a software called uh, Zapier. Uh, it starts getting really expensive and really confusing. And if anything breaks down, uh, it's tough to figure out how to fix it. So the draw card for me was Kartra encompasses about nine different pieces of software under the one roof and everything talks to each other and communicates. So you can set it up once and, and do a whole bunch of work up front and then it's done. Like it's just, you just got to tweak and adjust it, but everything's done. And it just, it, I had, a, I was having a conversation yesterday with a buddy who, 
uh, works, uh, he, he runs like a sort of uh, a betting syndicate in the horse racing industry. Oh, wow. He's this young, young guy up and coming doing awesome things. And he used to do things really manually, like, you know, uh, have everyone pay into his bank account. And then he would put them into a Google sheet type thing, which would then send them an email type stuff. Uh, and I got him onto Kartra and he's like, honestly, he goes, you've saved me so much friggin' time. And not only yeah. that, because it's slicker and it's so instantaneous, I have literally like cut uh, cut my admin time down and answering people's questions by two thirds. Like people just don't have questions anymore because it all makes sense to them. Well, I, th I think a good analogy would be, like you said, it talks to each other in Kartra. Kartra is like yeah. one one world that it all talks to each other. It's it's almost like, you know, if you've got people from Spain and France and Portugal and Mexico and Canada and United States. Even New Zealand over there, you got different words for things over than over here. You know, even though it's yeah. English, there's, so there's the communication between these platforms can be confusing. And another analogy would be like a car. You've got a car with a Chevrolet wheel and you use an adapter so it fits onto the Ford differential that goes into a universal joint that goes into a Chrysler motor and you got to have adapters all over the place. And if all of a sudden yeah. one of these places changes something in their software, it no longer talks. Yeah. A problem. Yeah. So I think it's good to have it all under one place where, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, the people at Kartra are actually working on that 24 seven. If something happens, they can fix it. Yeah. And that was the other really appealing thing about Kartra is that once you get all those pieces of software under one roof is the price significantly decreases, right? So. Right. Everyone else is a standalone company. So like a MailChimp, for example, goes, well, we've got to make a commercial model out of this, selling this one service. So they're still charging a, a decent price, right? So all you have to do is get to two or three different pieces of software and you're already paying more than you would to pay for Kartra for one month. So economically, it makes sense. Uh, it's far more powerful, far more efficient. Um, so to me, it's a, it's a really hard, it's a really hard concept to say no to if you're in the online space trying to build an online business. Um, so for me, previously I was using Infusionsoft, Active Campaign, Unbounce, WordPress, uh, Schedule Once. Uh, we're using Jot Forms, uh, Zapier to connect them all, Thinkific for an online course. Uh, and we patched it all together to make one system. And literally that was costing me three, 400 US bucks a month. Uh, and then scrapped all of that, went to Kartra. Kartra does it quicker, faster, and in a better way than all of those. Uh, and I pay 99 US a month. Also so like, some of the stuff in Kartra, they've got pre-built kind of campaigns where you can kind of just uh, download them and kind of adjust them. If you got something simple, rather than having to build it out, it's kind of ready. Yeah, yeah, and it's. I mean, like you. So I guess you should, there's always pros and cons, right? So any piece of software is going to be. You have to make it work for your business. There's no, there's no perfect solution for your specific business, uh, unless you're going to get something custom built for you. So you kind of got to weigh out pros and cons of some of these things, like. For instance, in Kartra, you can use these templates and page builder and stuff like that, but you are limited within templates. So, you know, you've got sections and drop drag elements. So you can't do uh, really, really custom builds in there without uh, some significant coding. Uh, but still, the, the templated builder and uh, the drop and drag web page builder hands down beats a lot of the other competitors out there. So, like, I think that it's better than ClickFunnels. Um, which is a another competitor, and the interesting thing is, is that they get a lot of Kartra gets a lot of people switching over from uh, all these other softwares to Kartra. And I talk to the users, and they go, "Yeah, this is way better." And um, in Kartra, also, it has the ability. Each page has the ability to put in some SEO into the the pages too. So I don't know how that really yeah. works. Yeah, so I imagine they'll keep improving that. So you've got SEO elements where you can fill in um, you know, uh, page title, metadata, 
uh, they've introduced the ability now to put an alt text on all of your uh, photos, etc. Um, you're still not going to get the same uh, SEO effects as if you build out a WordPress site or a WordPress page. Well, why, um, is why is that? Because uh, WordPress it has a lot more SEO capability than uh, Kartra does. Kartra is a uh, what's the best way to describe it? It's like a it's like a templated or a, a kind of pre-built page. So the code's a lot different than in WordPress. I think that's the best way to put it. I don't think I'm technically savvy enough to explain it. Well, yeah, SEO is a weird thing, but there is the ability. I know that my wife uses Kartra also and WordPress where you can build something out in Kartra and then just embed that code into a WordPress page. Yep, you can. Yeah, you use would a like template or something like that. But would that remedy the SEO situation, so now you can SEO the WordPress page. Yeah, not that I'm aware of just yet. So you're essentially just mirroring the Kartra page on WordPress. Okay, but then, then they got some of that those uh, plugins for SEO that are in WordPress. So I'm assuming you'd be able to utilize those to. Yeah, yeah. So then you can use things like Yoast SEO and yeah. all-in-one SEO plugins and stuff like that on WordPress, which uh, they're really good for uh, SEO. So the guys that created Kartra really thought it out how the whole thing works. I'm pretty happy with it, and I'm not. I'm not really tech savvy, but um, I use Kartra more for pages than I do building out a WordPress page. It's just uh, easier and it looks better. And then I just redirect the domain to it, like like what I do with this domain here. This isn't actually yeah. going to a Kartra. This is actually going to a a URL rotor a rotator that goes to Kartra. <laughs> no, nice. Um, yeah. The other thing with Kartra to keep in mind is that they are releasing new developments regularly. So they are relatively. They're, they're an older company in the fact that they've got other online products that made them successful first. So Genesis Digital, the people that built Kartra, mm -hmm. but they were already successful from their products like Webinar Jam. Right. And they were providing webinar software uh, before they invented Kartra. Uh, and so Kartra itself has only been around since 2018, since the, you know, the, the first quarter of 2018. Um, and so it only makes it a couple years old and I was on it from day one and already the changes that I've made since day, like it was already, like, even if you got in now at day one level, Kartra would still be way more powerful than, than the other competitors out there. It'd still be an awesome platform to use. But even since then, the developments just continue to improve and improve the platform and they're working on it all the time, which I love. Um, so yeah, like I just kind of, I like the future outlook of Kartra and the developments that they're creating. Well, I kind of like how they built it. I think they kind of use basics and they don't get too feature rich because what can happen when someone's developing these systems is they create the thing. And then when times change, they can't really rebuild it. They almost have to start from scratch and start something new. Like what happened with the, uh, what do they call that? Scrolling parallax type thing in WordPress? Yeah. When all of a sudden that got popular, now it, it, old websites are like, they're antiquated, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've gone for um, 19 minutes here. And of course, like I've said before, I try and keep my videos kind of short so people can consume them all. So I wonder if there's anything else you want to share that uh, might uh, encourage someone to go the Kartra route as opposed to one of the competitors, because that's our agenda here. For those that don't know, in total transparency, we are affiliates with Kartra, and that's why we endorse it. But we sincerely like Kartra. We're not just pushing it to make the money. That just kind of helps us pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. So my, just on that point is that when it comes to a, affiliate stuff and that although uh, it's kind of my mentality on this is that I'm recommending this product to people regardless. So like because I think it's the best product out there 
And I think that it's so powerful and I think it will genuinely help people trying to build an online business. I'm like, well, I'm going to do that in every conversation I have because I believe in this product. So why not uh, use my affiliate for that and get some income as well? Because it helps me to do videos like this and helps me to, you know, it helps uh, pay for my time, etc. Uh, but two is that when I used to use that system that I was talking about before with Infusionsoft and all those different pieces of software, for my clients, I run a digital agency where I help people use Kartra and, and build their online businesses. Uh, and previous to Kartra, I was using those systems I was talking about, and I was putting my clients onto that. Uh, and as soon as I discovered Kartra, although it was representing a fair bit of work to switch over, and and phase out all these other pieces of software i was like well ethically i have to do it because it's the better choice for my client so mm -hmm. regardless and, and like i had previously like i would earn commissions or affiliate commissions on any of the other software i was using and like some of them i've just had to let go and so i have to get like those are revenue streams i've had to drop purely because I'll only promote something that I believe in and what I think is going to be best for my customers and my clients. Sure. Um, and so moving to Kartra, it's like I lost a whole bunch of affiliate uh, commissions because I discovered something better, I believed in it, and I could no longer hand on heart recommend the other stuff as a, a better solution. So, mm -hmm. And uh, another sidebar too is you are able to build something out in Kartra and then share it with your client. So they don't Correct. have to build it all out and you, they can make adjustments how they see fit. But you can do a lot of the work for your clients and then share it, almost working, like you said, like an agency. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that's one of the other good things about Kartra is Kartra has a, have an agency dashboard as well. So you can manage it uh, as an agency, which is quite cool. Right. We didn't even get into that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We yeah. can talk about that at another time, I'm sure. But, uh, but I, I would say this. I would say... If you're shopping around, trying to think about what's best to use for your business, one jump into the jump into the software, into their group chat. So a lot of them will have online communities, like on Facebook. Kartra has one. A lot of them have them. We have to join as a member into their group, and just scroll through. Look at the feed. Look at what people are saying about it. Go look to see if there's like a bunch of complaints, look to see what the common issues are, what the problems are, and those will be your red flags around a piece of software. Uh, two is look at, um, uh, do some Googling and look at reviews and go, you know, type in Infusionsoft versus Kartra or ClickFunnels versus Kartra and then get a view that way of what's going to work well for you. Uh, and then three, I would say, uh, jump in and use some of their free trials. So most of them will give you a couple of weeks free. Um, I know a hack in order to get a month free on some of them. Uh, and like, I'll give you an example. Like I recently set up a, uh, I recently set up a, a charity fundraising page in Kartra. Uh, I built out a, an entire marketing funnel uh, within two days, I launched it within four days, uh, and then seven days later, we had raised over twenty five thousand hmm. uh, dollars for this charity. Right, so that's a total of uh, eleven days, and I built a business in Kartra, taken it live, raised twenty five thousand dollars, and I'm using that as an example because if you get in and use these free services and use their free trials, there's no reason you can't test out your business idea, build an uh, MVP or a minimum viable product and see what the software is like without having to pay anything. Well, you should be able to do that. That's how you buy a car. You get to take it for a test drive before you sign on the dotted line. Yeah. And so the good thing, yeah, Catcher, I mean, you can jump on, do two weeks for a dollar, um, which is how I started. And yeah, I just haven't stopped. <laughs> Well, I like it. I mean, I use it and I check it all the time and all the analytics and stuff that's in it kind of lets people, get, you know, who's clicking on what and where and all that kind of stuff. So, well, Mike, I'm going to 
beam this up. But actually, I don't have to beam this up to YouTube. It's gone live and it's already on there. So that's a save the step this time. <laughs> All right, good work. I'll put you into the green room. We can have a conversation uh, later on, but I'm going to sign this up and we're going to get it going. So thanks again for sharing your knowledge, wisdom, and expertise and your time. No worries. Thanks, Brad. Take it easy, mate. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is again. If you want to check out Carter, it's right here, magicmarketingtool.com. And uh, if you want to connect with Mike, um, uh, we also uh, put his um, direct connection right in on his video too. So you can connect with him over in New Zealand if you want. And uh, he's been doing this for a long, 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 long time. So he's definitely uh, capable of building stuff out much more than I. I'm more of a strategic marketer than I am a technical marketer, that's for sure. So. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well, be good, be safe, and be nice. See ya.